welcome to this video uh, we already cover up the mathematical methods part for iit jam examination from day 1 to day 4 we cover up of the year 2020 to 2020 to 2017 right today we will want to discuss the question which are asked in the question IIT jam 2016 of the mathematical methods part so let's go to the question this is the question pattern of the IIT jam and this is uh, the uh, instruction and these are the syllabus of this mathematical methods of IIT jam examination and this is all about me this is my contact details so let's go to the first question of the uh, mathematical methods part of the year 2016 IIT jam okay which, which say which of the following represent the complex number that is z is 1 by i minus i if we want to eliminate the complex part in the lower uh, that is denominator that is we want multiply 1 plus i in the both upper and lower side that 1 minus i into 1 plus i that is nothing but 1 plus i by 1 square minus i square and you already know that i square is nothing but the minus 1 so this is 1 plus 1 that is 2 that is half plus half i or i half right so that is 0 0.5 plus i into 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 i right so in the real axis 0 0.5 and the complex axis 0 0.5 so these are the plus so this is the correct answer so answer of this question is answer number a is the correct answer okay so this is the correct answer of this question next question the eigen values of the matrix representing the following pair of linear equation this is the linear equation and the corresponding matrix will be nothing but the coefficient coefficient of this equation is x is 1 and the coefficient of the y is i and that of the i and y is 1 so we need to find out the eigen value eigen value of this matrix we got the matrix that is m is m is 1 i i 1 so uh, the characteristic equation characteristic equation characteristic equation says characteristic equation says the determinant of m minus lambda i where lambda is the lambda is the eigen value okay so this will be nothing but 1 minus lambda i i 1 minus lambda that is equal to 0 so this is 1 minus lambda whole square minus i square that is equal to 0 so this is 1 minus 2 lambda plus lambda square i square is minus 1 so this will comes into plus 1 equals to 0 so this is converted into i uh, lambda square minus 2 lambda plus 2 equals to 0 so by the uh, uh, d, uh, lambda is uh, minus b so this is plus minus root under b square uh, to a square 4 minus 4 c a 4 c a by 2 a ok so this is equal to 2 plus minus this will be minus 4 that is 2 i by 2 that is equal to 1 plus minus i ok so this is in that direction written ok so the uh, eigen value will be 1 plus i and 1 minus i so the answer of this question is the so the answer of this question is the 1 plus i and 1 minus i 1 plus i and 1 minus i the so answer w d is the correct answer of this question right so next question for the given set of equation this is the three set of equation uh, which of the following statement is correct okay the equation are inconsistent equation are consistent and single non-trivial solution equation are consistent and many solution equation are consistent and only trivial solution so let's check the consistent and non-consistent so we need to make up <coughs> made the equation as the mx or you can say as the ax equals to b where a is nothing but you can write as the coefficient of x y z and z is the 0 so 1 1 0 then 0 1 1 and then 1 0 1 and x is the uh, x y z and b is the nothing but our uh, whole is 1 <coughs> so we need to check the determinant of a what is the value of determinant a the determinant a determinant a is nothing but 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 1 
so this is nothing but uh, if we expand along this axis so we get 1 into 1 minus 0 minus 1 uh, 0 minus 1 so this will come into 1 and this is 1 so this is 2 this is not equal to 0 this is signifies if the so, uh, st uh, equation are consistent not equal to 0 so equation equations are consistent right equation are consistent so if determinant a is not equal to 0 so uh, this is consistent here you can write actually i want to find out the value of x here we can write uh, if we multiply a inverse from the left hand side then we get x equal to a inverse b so we need to find out the a inverse so we got the determinant a now we uh, want to find the adjoint a to find the a inverse so adjoint a adjoint a you know for adjoint a uh, we need to write the from a for 1 this is 1 minus 1 that is 1 for this uh, 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 0 this is 0 uh, 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 uh, for 0 this this eliminate 1 minus 0 that is 1 um, this this so 1 minus 0 that is 1 uh, this this so oh, 0 minus 1 that is minus 1 Sorry. sorry 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 one and uh, minus one all uh, right so one uh, one minus one that is one uh, this is uh, one minus zero that is one uh, one minus sorry one minus zero no, that is one okay uh, now write to plus minus this is plus this is 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 minus okay so this is adjoint a so a inverse nothing but uh, adjoint a by a inverse uh, sorry determinant a so determinant a nothing but 2 and this is 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 okay <coughs> sorry so uh, if we multiply b a inverse b that is half 1 minus 1 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 1 and a b is the 1 1 1 so if we multiply we get 1 into 1 minus 1 into 1 1 into 1 so this is 1 1 1 minus 1 1 1 so we get this is actually x x mean x y z so we get the unique solution x equals to half y equals to half z equals to half this is the unique solution so this is a single non-trivial solution and consistent so answer of this question is single non-trivial solution we get and this is consistent so answer of this question is option number b is the correct answer of this question <coughs> next next question says <coughs> the tangent line of this curve the tangent of this curve at this is represented so we know tangent of this uh, to find the tangent we know uh, determine the dy dx so we, uh, derivative is in this question uh, of this equation with respect to x we get 2x and this is with respect to x we get y plus x dy dx plus 0 equal to 0 so we get dy dx is nothing but uh, 1 by x minus 2x minus y okay so this is nothing but minus 2 minus y by x so if we want to find out the dy dx at 1 comma 1 uh, sorry i change the color of this 1 comma 1 we get minus 2 minus 1 by 1 that is minus 3 so the equation of tangent equation of tangent equation of tangent <coughs> is uh, we know uh, y minus y1 equal to dy dx at uh, x1 y1 this is the general equation and 2x minus x1 right so y minus y1 is 1 and this is minus 3 and x minus 1 so this is nothing but the y minus 1 equal to minus 3x plus 3 so y is equals to minus 3x and this is plus so this is 4 
माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर तो ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ओके नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन से फूरियर सीरीज गिवेन फंक्शन ऑफ इंटरवेल जीरो टू एल इज दिस एंड इफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज एक्स इन दिस रीजन जीरो टू पाई देन वैल्यू ऑफ बी टू सो वी नो दी हेयर यू कैन सी हेयर हेयर यू कैन सी the f of x in the region 0 to pi and this interval 0 to l so we can say the l and pi is the same l is equal to pi in this equation so if you write down the f of x in the fourier form we can say f of x nothing but a0 by 2 plus summation n equals to 1 to infinity a n cos if we we put the value pi it, 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 equal to l so l l cancel out 2 nx right and this is also n equals to 1 to infinity bn sin 2 nx now you want to find out the bn you know bn is 1 by uh, <coughs> the total interval by 2 half interval that is pi by 2 0 to pi f of x sin 2 nx into dx and you know the value of uh, f of x is x so you put the x and sin 2nx dx. Now we uh, we can uh, simplify this by using by parts. So this is the uh, derivative and this is integration. So x and the integration of this sin x is minus cos 2nx by 2n and the uh, derivative uh, of x is 1 and integration of this is minus. So this comes into plus cos 2nx by 2n. Into dx, so this is uh, written as, uh, uh, and the limit will be zero to pi. The limit will be zero to pi. So this will be comes into two by pi minus x cos two n x by two n cos two n x by two n, and the integration of cos x is sin x. So this will be sin two n x by two n whole square. That is four n square. Into zero to pi. So, so this will be two by pi. And uh, if we put the value of pi, then it will be comes into minus pi cos two n pi by two n. Okay. And sine two n pi is zero. Sine zero is zero. And if we put the value x zero, so this will be zero. So only this term written in this. Expression so pi pi cancel out two two cancel out we get cos two n pi and cos two n pi is one so one by n is the uh, b n b n is the one by n so two two cancel out pi pi cancel out this is the one the only n is that so what is the value of b two b two is nothing but minus one by two one by two is minus zero point five so answer of this question is the minus zero point five so answer of this question is the minus zero point five this is the answer okay. So next, go to the next question. Next question say, consider a function f of x equal to x square plus y cube, where y represent the parabolic equation x square plus one. Where y represent this one, that means y equal to x square plus one. And the total derivative of f with respect to x. So we need to find out the df dx. So we need to find out the df dx you know you know the df since f is the function of xy since x is the function of xy you need to find out del f del x into dx plus del f del y into dy so you you want to find out the df dx so if we divided by dx we get del f del x plus del f del y into dy dx what is the value of del f del x if we uh, derivative with respect to x this will comes f x square and if we derivative f with respect to y partial derivative 3 y square and dy dx so dy dx coming into 2x so this will be 2x <coughs> and this is nothing but 3 x square 3 y square y square means x square plus 1 that whole square into 2x so if i want to find out the del f del x at x equal to 1 you put the x value 1 is 3 and this is 1 plus 1 square that is 2 square that is 
and this is 1 this is 2 so this is th uh, 3 4 12 24 27 is the correct answer of this question so answer of this question is 27 27 is the correct answer of this question right so go to the next question what is say the rectangular area a1 formed by two vector x vector and y vector in the figure one this is the vector a1 area a1 and a new set of vector representing a2 in figure 2 given u1 equal to x vector and u2 equal to kx vector plus y so this is the a2 so dimension of the, the jacobian of the frame u1 u2 with respect to you know jacobian of if we write the jacobian of u1 u2 uh, with respect to x x x vector y vector this will nothing but the determinant of del u1 del x del u2 del x del u1 del y del u2 del sorry this is del x and this is del y so we need to find out the del u1 del x1 so what is the value del u1 del x1 1 del u1 uh, sorry this is del y del u2 del y what is the value of del u2 del y if you derivate it this is 1 del u2 uh, sorry sorry this is del u1 this is this is del u1 so if we want to derivative this with respect to y this is 0 del u2 del x is nothing but k del u2 del y this is nothing but 1 so if we put this value you get 1 uh, 0 k 1 this is nothing but the 1 ok so jacobian of this uh, area uh, uh, transformation jacobian of this transformation is the 1 is the correct answer so 1 is the correct answer of this question next go to the next question uh, what say consider a cross triangular count uh, contour travel in the uh, counter clockwise direction as shown in this figure so this contour counter in this direction the value of this evaluated along the counter for the vector equal to this question so uh, by the stokes theorem we can write by the stokes theorem we can write this will be nothing but the this is the closed circular integral so this will be nothing but the uh, curl of f curl of f into ds this is the surface integral so what is the value of curl of f so you can see uh, f is this so what is the value of curl of f if we put curl of f sorry if we find out the curl of f so uh, curl is i cap or oh, this is ex cap ex cap ey cap z cap and uh, this is del del x del del y del del z and uh, this is nothing but the um, a vector is y this is minus x and this is 0 so if we uh, uh, partial derivative so this is 0 minus 0 uh, for e y this del del x uh, of 0 is 0 del 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 y del z also 0 so e y cap is 0 minus 0 and for e z cap so for e z cap this is del del of minus x that is minus 1 uh, del y del x is 1 so this will be comes into 2 e z cap right so curl of f is minus 2 e z cap 2 e z cap and if we find out the ds vector so this is e z cap ds so this is nothing but 2 into <coughs> area of this triangle area of this triangle so this is area of the triangle so now you, I, uh, we need to find out the area of this triangle so you can see this is the value is 2 this value is 2 and this angle 4 by uh, pi by 4 and this is pi by 4 so this must be pi by 2 such that the total angle is pi so sum of this three uh, triangle is will be um, triangle must be pi Ang angle pi by 4 pi by 4 this becomes pi by 2 so this needs to pi by 2 so this is pi by 2 and this is the uh, so uh, uh, these two are angle same so this if this is a this is will must be a and a square plus a square is 2 so a square plus a square is 2 square <coughs> so 2 a square equal to 2 square that is that is a square equal to 2 
a equal to root 2. So, side is the root 2. So, we knew the, the area is nothing but half base is root 2 and height is root 2. So, this will be 2, 2 to cancel out minus 2 is the correct answer of this question. The value of this is the minus 2 is the correct answer of this question, right? Minus 2 is the correct answer of this question. Next, uh, a hemispherical a hemispherical cell is placed on the uh, xy xy plane uh, center at the origin uh, for a vector field this and the value of this uh, hemispherical cell okay so we sorry so we need to find out this integral value of this semi hemispherical cell this is a hemisphere think about this is a hemisphere this is the base site this is the base this is the base okay this is the hemisphere <coughs> so first we need to find out the curl of e what is the value of curl of e so this is e x cap this is e y cap this is e z cap del del x del del y del del z and e x cap uh, coefficient of e x cap minus y by x square plus y square this is x by x square plus y square and this is 0. So, you can see for e x cap, uh, this is 0, this is 0. For e y cap, this is 0, this is 0. For e z cap, only z cap is present. If with respect to x, you get 1 by x square plus y square and then minus x and this is 2x by this is 2 to cancel out. So, x uh, by <laughs> x square plus y square. Similarly, for uh, minus of, so this is becomes to plus, del del y means 1 by x square plus y square and for that you get the y into y by x square plus y square. So, if we add it this to, you get uh, this will becomes z cap 2 by x square plus y square and this, if we added this to term, we form x square plus y square, oh, this will be whole square, this will be whole square, right, right. Uh, x square plus y square whole square so if we cancel out so we get z cap into 1 by x square plus y square right so now if i want to find out this integral value call of e dot ds or da these are the same here yeah, this is called as da so integral uh, call of e is nothing but 1 by x square plus y square and 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 z cap so uh, if we if, uh, this is actually x y x y axis this is x and this is y so the e, z uh, the, the area uh, taken as this dx dy z cap along so in the x y plane so this will be dx dy z cap only z cap is one otherwise this will be zero so dx dy z cap z cap z cap one so this volume integral will be dx dy x square plus y square and 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 you can uh, convert into uh, spherical polar quadrant system then you can write out dx dy as the r sin theta d theta d phi where r is the one uh, sorry and this is the r square and the value of this r will be one so this is the cancel out only uh, sin theta d theta sin theta d theta and this is d phi and you can say that 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 phi uh, theta is 0 to pi by 2 and phi is 0 to pi so this will become minus cos theta 0 to pi by 2 and this is the 2 pi so uh, minus uh, cos pi by 2 is 0 minus plus cos 1 and 2 pi that into 2 pi so this is the 2 pi so our answer of this question will be so our answer of this question will be 2 2 is the correct answer of this question okay so that's it.
thank you like this session share this video and subscribe this channel if you new in this video thank you